what we call knowledge is a collection of mental images created in our mental screen that we call our mind. Such images are made with the information that we gather from our sensory organs and interpreted by the memories of the past knowledge we have retained in our brain. For example, when we see an image, we recognize that image mentally as my father, mother, brother, sister, husband, wife, etc. with the help of our past memories. Therefore, our brain is similar to a hard disk in a computer. And our mind that I refer to as a mental screen is like the monitor screen in a computer in a TV or in a mobile. Those images look real, but actually they are not real. At the same time, they are imperfect, not perfect, because all our mental Im images that we call knowledge is made from the faulty and limited information about things and beings supplied by our big faulty sensory organs. For example, our eye can see colors of a certain range. Our eyes cannot see the colors, all the colors in a rainbow. Our visual range is limited. So is the capacity of our ears. That capacity too is limited. We cannot hear all the sounds, waves that we find in our atmosphere. Even our nose cannot smell certain things that can be smelled by dogs. Our noses are weaker than the noses of a dog. We cannot see what a cat can see in the dark. But an eagle can see from a distance high up in the sky. That means all our sense organs are limited in their capacity to gather information from the world outside. But the world experience that we experience is created by such faulty information in our mind called the mental screen that I referred to. With the help of the previous information or knowledge retained in our brain cells. 
as all such images are not real though they look real they are not actually not real for example when we are in front of a mirror we see that we are inside the mirror but what appears in the mirror is only an image of ourselves we are not really there but we look really there this means as i mentioned earlier the entire set of our sensory knowledge is limited and faulty and also false we are misguided misled deceived by such false emotions because we believe they to be true and real though they are not actual real what we call enlightenment is knowing the reality of things and beings that is the vision of the world of the buddha acquired in its enlightenment called buddha as we are not enlightened we cannot see the reality of anything for example we can see viruses we can see amoeba and also we can hear any of the radio waves or mobile waves we can experience without a computer the tv waves the tv images that means our body as a computer has a limited capacity and that body is about 6 feet in height at the most but different people are of different height but in the royitasa sutta a discourse of the buddha that we find in the page 180 of volume 1 in the samyutta nikaya there is an utterance made by the buddha on page 120 where he says vyamata kalebere lokam panyapim it means the entire world that we experience is made by our physical body of about 6 feet here body refer to all the sensory organs even our skin is a sensory organ eye is a sensory organ nose is a sensory organs they are capable of getting information of different types our tongue can taste different taste our nose can smell different smells our eyes can see different images made up of bright pills our ear can hear different sound 
made by sound waves in the atmosphere. Therefore, according to the Buddha, all what we experience as a world is not the outside world, but the mental world created in our mind by our physical body with the help of its sensory organs, such as ear, nose, tongue, eye, etc. Because all of these organs provide us faulty images, as I mentioned earlier, about the world outside. And our sense organs are incapable of knowing the real world outside us. Because, as I mentioned earlier, all our sense organs are so weak and limited in their capacity. We see only mental images and we know only mental images created in our mind, which is really, as I mentioned, a mental screen that is similar to a screen in a TV, in a computer, in a laptop, in a mobile, etc. And even it is similar to a mirror because mirror to create images reflect images of the outside world. They look very real, but actually they are not real. Only reality, the true reality or the actual reality, can be experienced once we are enlightened. Enlightenment is beyond knowledge. Enlightenment means the insight of wisdom getting dawn. As long as there is no dawning of enlightenment, a light where in the darkness of ignorance, not knowing the real world, both within and outside us. As I mentioned, the world within is a mental world made of images which are actually not real, but looks real. Becoming a Buddha, enlightened one, a wise one, means developing the capacity to know the reality, to experience the reality. Till then, we are guided by sensory knowledge. In fact, our entire education is gathering sensory knowledge. Even modern science is based on sensory knowledge, sensory information, not insight. The ancient wisdom that, are, that is written in many religions is based on the insight of wisdom that get dawned beyond the faulty 
astral images called knowledge. That means wisdom lies beyond knowledge. In Buddha's word, the world of our sensory knowledge is called Loka. Vyamatta Kalevere Panyapimi Lokancha, as I mentioned in the Rohita Sutta earlier, on volume 1 of Sanghita Nikaya, page 188, and this statement comes in page uh, 120. Therefore, we are really wise if you know that we are foolish. We are ignorant of the reality. And what appears to be real in our mind through our sense organs is actually not real. Though they look real and practically we have to live with that apparent reality. The actual reality is beyond both the mind and the body. That is why Buddha said in Kevala Sutta that the Nirvana or Nibbana that you realize is beyond the body and the mind. Namancha Rupancha Asesam Parujyati. The last stanza at the end of the Roy uh, the Kevada Sutta says so. Therefore, until we are enlightened, we are living in the darkness of ignorance created by um, sensory organs. But what we call knowledge is that ignorance, not the truth. But practically, we have to live with that practical reality which is not actual reality. The actual reality is beyond knowledge that can be realized by the opening of wisdom. In his first sermon of the Buddha, he referred to that as Panya Udapadi. There arose the wisdom in me and my enlightenment. That's what Buddha said. Unless we are enlightened, we are living in the darkness of ignorance caused by our sensory knowledge. Realizing that truth is the starting point of wisdom and enlightenment.